Say you're making a through the wall fin and you cut the tab too short and it just wiggles around when, it, when you put it in the tube. How do you fix this problem? Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Hi, my name is Tim Van Milligan. I'm from Apogee Components. Today I'm going to talk about the problem where you have the fin tab on your through-the-wall fin that is too short and it's not making contact with the tube. So here's a fin that I've cut and it, and it fits just nicely. It's just kissing the tube on the inside. Yeah, and when you bond it into the rocket, it's going to be nice and strong. But where you have a fin that's loose, how do you fix this problem? Well, I'm pretty lazy, so I'm looking for a quick solution. And what I typically use is an epoxy clay. Um, this is the, the uh, Bond-Aid epoxy. Um, and we also sell the Fix-It epoxy, and they'll both work. Um, typically, for anything on the inside of the rocket, I like the Bond-Aid putty. Um, and the reason is, is it hardens faster. But the downside is you can't make it look pretty by smoothing it out because it just hardens so fast. So that's why when it's on the inside of the rocket, I don't care what it looks like. But if I was making fin fillets, I would probably use the Fix-It. Um, so on this particular rocket, I could probably use this on the inside and then once it's bonded, then use the Fix-It on the outside to make the fin fillets. Um, so to use this, um, I'm going to use some gloves here. What you do is you just cut off a hunk. And this is a two-part mix, and you can see it's different colors. Um, the outer layer is a different chemical formulation than the inside. And when they're mixed together, it will be a nice epoxy. Now this little wrapper you just kind of discard. Um, and then you just take this and you'll just knead it up and mix it for maybe 30 seconds until it's a nice uniform color. And you gotta work fairly fast because this stuff will harden pretty quick. This is gonna be hard in like five minutes. So you don't have a lot of working time, so mix pretty fast. Okay, so once you got it mixed, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a long snake. And the snake needs to be about the, the diameter of the thickness of the wood because we have to slide it through that slot. Um, the other thing that I'm gonna do um, on the fin itself, I'm gonna take some water thin super glue and I'm going to, obviously this is clogged, like always. Oh, there it goes. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna um, saturate that edge, and this will give the epoxy something to grip to, because sometimes um, balsa wood, and this is a balsa wood fin, um, it's not very strong. Um, uh, on the surface So this will just give the epoxy just something to bite into something that it can stick to Okay, so now I'm gonna roll this into the snake And I want it to be the length of my fin tab like that And I'm just gonna stick it on I got some stuff on my uh, gloves that's getting into my epoxy, but that's okay. And I want to kind of uh, make it into kind of a wedge, so it's kind of like um, a triangle, so it gets pointy here at the, the tip. Um, and the reason for that is so that it can go through the slot. Okay, so here's my fin, and I'm just going to try to slide it through that slot without knocking it off. Okay, good. Okay, so now I want to press it down 
And now you're going to see the epoxy kind of ooze out um, as it goes down. Um, and then I want to make sure that it's nice and perpendicular. And for that, I'm going to use an Apogee fin alignment jig. And we sell these here at Apogee Components. I want to just make sure it's nice and perp perpendicular to the tube. And I'm just going to let this sit like this for about five minutes. And uh, so I'll just use this as my test. So when this piece is hard, and then I know that piece is hard as well. So I'm going to be back in just a few minutes and we'll finish this up. So this epoxy is hard, so I can safely remove my fin alignment jig here. Um, and then, yeah, it's nice and strong. That's good. Um, uh, so then at this point, I would go ahead and install the other fins and install them correctly like you would normally with uh, regular epoxy, five minute epoxy works. Um, I prefer the rocket epoxy or uh, the fix-it epoxy, um, especially for the outside. Um, I like the fix-it epoxy and the rocket epoxy for making fillets because it's um, it's strong, it makes beautiful fillets, you have a lot of working time so you don't have to worry about it too much. Um, so that's the easy way to fix a fin where the the tab is too short to actually touch the tube. Now I used a clear tube on my rocket. Obviously yours is gonna be a paper tube, but I just wanted you to see what was going on on the inside of the rocket. So my name again is Tim Van Milligan. You're watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. If you like this video, give it the thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified when we release a new video. Um, so, may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.